I'm going to show you how I make YouTube videos and I use Shotcut. Okay, so I have recently migrated to Linux and that's what you see here. This is not Windows or anything. That's why it looks so freaking awesome. Um, anyhow, so Shotcut is what I use to edit my videos, okay? So let's get into Shotcut. And also, I'm going to open up my file manager here. Okay. Now, Shotcut loads a lot faster than what I was used to with Windows 7. Like, for example, I don't know if you've ever used GIMP, but it's like a alternative to um, to Adobe Photoshop. It took it, you, you load it and it, you go make a sandwich and come back and it might be finished, right? But if you click on that GIMP here, it loads and then bang it's automatically up right so it's really a lot faster uh, Linux is, is running a lot 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 more faster for me than with Windows uh, Windows 7 at least on this older computer okay so let's uh, let's go into here so I have my this is my my file manager here and if I uh, click here this is everything here okay so I have like you know my main hard drive and I have two secondary hard drives, Zoot and Dingo. And Dingo is where I use, uh, you know, it's where I put all my, my, uh, my, my crap here, okay? So I go into my videos here. Yeah, so models and then vids. This is where I get all of my, uh, so it's where I store all my, my videos here. Okay, so this is Shotcut. This is free, completely free. and this is also available on Windows. Macintosh, you know, whatever. I don't know what you guys use. But this is Shotcut. Perfectly free. It's available for Windows and Linux. So, uh, I, I, what, when I first started making YouTube videos, I was using like Windows, um, what's it called? Windows Movie Maker, or something like that. And then with Windows 7, um, when I reformatted my, my hard drive and reinstalled Windows, I found out that they stopped uh, supporting it, so they, they wouldn't allow me to download it anymore. And I'm like, well, crap, what am I going to do? Well, this sh shortcut, because I, I was doing you know doing some research and figured out that the shortcut is uh, it's, you know more versatile. You can do a lot more stuff with it, and I think it's great. So... What I'm going to do is, let's do, um, okay, so I have created all of these, like, uh, uh, what, 1280 by 720 images, like right here, you know, fade to white, fade to pink, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm just going to just drag it right here. So this is where you see, okay, so let's, uh, if you dragged it down here, this is like where you can put your your timeline here. So you just drag any video down there, and then it shows up here. Okay, the default is four seconds long. Okay. Now, the way I do my videos, I I open them up with like a little tile card. Okay, so I'm gonna right click on here, and then. Add video track. So now we have V2 and V1. So typically, video two is going to be overlaid on top of video one. Okay. Now, if I go into the okay, so vids, and I got my cars right here. So I'm going to work on the Suzuki Hustler video. Now I already have a template that I've already created. I'm just going to show you how I kind of do that here. So here's like the box image right here. Boink. Okay, so this is where you see um, the this is the, the cover of the, the Suzuki Hustler by Fujimi. I'm going to just drag it onto video two. Okay, and now it's totally on top of the other thing. Okay. And then if you want audio, I'm going to right click on here and then add audio track. Okay. Now, we have, let me uh, make this smaller so you can see. Okay, here are all three of these. Video 2, Video 1, and Audio 1. You can have different audio stuff going on at the same time. I've done that before when I've dubbed my voices and I have, like, you know, the crickets or whatever and the sound, and the sound effects in the background. You can do different audio stuff on there. Um, what I'm going to do is 
uh, duh, 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 duh. so you can do open file and then where is it documents no music music there is music and then where was it Amazon mp3 All right, so this is, I, I have been using uh, the, the song Brighter by the Railway Children. So I'm going to just open this. Okay, here we go. All right, and I don't monetize my video, so I don't care if uh, I get copyright on here. It's no big deal. Throw them a bone, right? It's going to be a little bit too loud, though, I think. So here... It are the filters so here's properties and then filters okay so this tab here is filters what I'm gonna do is you click the plus sign and now so I again this is I'm selecting the the music here I'm gonna do the plus sign and so there are three things here there's video and audio and then you got like their favorites so usually when you go to like video if you want to like uh, blur, you want to use this a lot, you click on the, the little asterisk there and it shows up in your favorites, right? So anyhow, I'm just going to just keep using my favorites here. So gain and volume, it's too loud. So I just click here and then it's going to do, I don't know, like minus, minus eight decibels and then click enter. Or you can like do the mouse, uh, you know, use your, uh, your scroll bar, whatever. It doesn't matter. Now let's listen to that again. All right, it's quieter now. All right, so we're going to use a lot of your filters here. Okay, so this here, like you can like copy, can like control control C, control V, shows up down here too. Right, you can just copy and paste it. All right, so what I want to do is use the filter here, size and position, and you would find that in the video here. Um, again, I'm just using my favorites here. Size and position. You can change the position of this. Just kind of stick it here in the corner. All right. Now this is the video two here. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast. Now, if I click on the white part here, this this is the the the, the white background image here. What I'm going to do is, when the filters, I'm going to do plus sign, and I'm going to add text simple. You can do HTML. I don't. I've never really used that, but I'm just going to use text simple. Now the font. I'm going to choose blue. I choo choo choose you, and then the font here. It's just it. It's sans, but what I was using is Iden. There we go, and this is like that. Uh, how was it Iden Bold? I think it was. I don't know why. It reminds me of like those like uh, the sort of Shannara books or whatever they're called. I what does that remind me of? I don't know. It's what one of those those fantasy novels or sci-fi novels or something or other. So anyhow, um, the time code is that just goes there by default. You don't need that. So one twenty fourth uh, Fujimi. Suzuki Hustler. Oh. Or you can actually uh, bring it down here. Suzuki Hustler. And then uh, what? Uh, Plamo build. And people ask me, what does Plamo mean? It means plastic models. Um, that's just Japanese slang, and I, I don't like. You know, it's it's an abbreviation, and, and I, don't, I don't like having my my videos too long so I think I'm at video 3 where I'm at now let me look here yeah so I've already created a something in the timeline here okay um, actually what I do is uh, I, I create templates for this like I would set this up like so and then save it as a template it's a lot easier all right so let's just say uh, here you click on play see I just switched to that Okay, 
Now, what I'm going to do is go back here and the first video here in this, uh, the, the, the file names of my camera kind of screwed up with the numbers, I guess. So this is actually the first here. Let's just drag it to there. All right, and so this is what this is. Doink, and just drag it down here. See this? You just click and drag it to the timeline, point, and it goes right in there. Okay. Now what I like to do is uh, just fade it from this box still image to what you see in my hands here. So what I'm going to do is just click and drag this, boink, like that. And you see how it turns into like this little X thingy here? Um, if you go to properties, because this is automatically selected, the properties, it says video and it says dissolve. But basically this is like it'll fade from one to the other. See, watch this. You see that? You see how that worked? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's like magic. It's so easy to do that. It's really, really easy. But I don't want the music to be overpowering that. Okay, so what I want to do is fade out the music here, okay? So I'm going to click on the A1, which is the audio. This is the the Railway Children song here, the brighter. I'm just going to click here, and you can like right-click and split at playhead, or you can just click the S button on your keyboard. All right? And then you can just delete this. You can right-click and then remove, or just hit the delete key. It doesn't matter either way. Now you see this little pulsing thing here. Let me get close, guys. Now I hope you can see that how it pulses here, that little pulsing circle. I'm going to click that and I'm going to drag it this way, and that's how you fade out. Okay? Alright, so let's do this again. Let's watch how this works. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Now if you want to, you can have like a really, really slow fade out. Like that, just drag it. So it'll fade out the music a lot more slowly. Welcome to the third and what is probably going to be the final build video. The Suzuki Hustler. Again, this is a snap kit. There's no decals, it's only stickers. What I have done just now all right, so you already see this. Okay, you're, you're going to see this uploaded eventually. If I want to make this a little bit louder, again, I click on filters, plus sign, gain. And I usually, I have, you can create presets. I usually just do gain four, just a, an extra four to boost it up a little bit. And then um, that's it. So let's put in another. So if you go to here. That was probably my uh, my wife was interrupting me or something. So like, could you do the laundry or something other? <laughs> By your command, imperious leader. Although, or sometimes like <laughs> the toilet will flush because like the the restroom is like right next to where I'm you know the hobby room here, and that might be kind of uh, silly. All right, let's just say I, I'm not really sure what happened just now, so I'm just gonna just uh, click S. To split that at the at the the header and then hit the delete button. Okay, now it's gone. Um, just click and drag the next one onto there. Okay. There you go. Now you, the more comfortable you get, you can do like playlists. You, know, you click here. You can load a bunch of videos into here, and then just just click and drag them on, onto the timeline. I'm just showing you just how to just be really just really really simple about this okay so I'm gonna just click and drag this onto here now you see how it says the word insert that's kinda of how you want it to, to do it okay um, you have like these little uh, icons here now I don't really use a lot of these um, first of all, you have like the zoom in and zoom out. This is just zooming in the timeline. If you want less detail, you would just zoom out. Um, or you can zoom in if you need to like do more precise editing and such. Okay, so you got this magnet. Toggle snapping. 
what that means is like when you move this around it's just kind of like mm -hmm, like that it's like acts like a magnet if you have it disabled so you can get like, like super close uh, or whatever so if there's something in like a gap in the middle it's just gonna show up as a blank black screen okay um, if you want to just totally close a gap, you right click and then remove. That's that's what you do. Okay, so I'm gonna toggle that back on. Now this here, the ripple tur trim and drop. Uh, what that does is basically, if I want to add uh, a video in between these two segments, you would just uh, with since that's selected, it'll just insert it, and that's why you saw the word insert. Okay, like for example, let's do. So this is a HDV 1034.mp4. Okay, let's say for example, I made a mistake. All right, I got this, uh, All right now uh, let's put that onto the the timeline here. Okay. Oh, also for example, uh, something else I can show you. Now the gain that I had done. If you click on here, it says copy the filters. Boink. Okay. And then here's the paste filter. So if I want all of them to have the same sound, you can just do like that, boink. Or you go to the master and then create, you know, but I don't do with the master because I, I want to have the audio from the music and um, the individual videos that I do have them differently, okay? So here's 1033 and then here's 1035. And you're like, oh crap, eh, I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. And when I first learned, when I first started using this program, I didn't know how to do this, okay? So let's do 1034. And then I want to just drag it right into the middle here. See, it says insert. It's not going to overwrite it. If you don't have that on there, it's going to overwrite it. And it's going to mess up. You're going to lose stuff. So this is what I had to learn the hard way a few times. Okay. Now, um, let's do, because, okay, the, the way this is right now, blink hard. All right. I don't like to do that. So, what I'm going to do is click and drag this to overlap that. See that? Now you have this little transition thing here. Okay? This transition thing with the X, if you go to Properties, it says Dissolve. And you you can just do dissolve and that's just like a fade in between the two or like uh, I like to if I'm continuing something I'll just do bar horizontal let me uh, reposition the camera here okay bar horizontal looks like this see it wipes okay now let's go to here and then uh, let's go back to filters. Oh, I already got the the gain on here. Okay, so if I want to, all right, now here I'm going to be doing a different thing, I guess. Let's click and drag this onto here. Now we have another transition. Go to properties. You can change it. Like uh, if it's something different, I like to do diagonal top left. So like, watch this. Just click on play. And it wipes. I got this uh, Vallejo uh, airbrush flow improver. All right, so that's pretty much it. You go through the whole video, and you're done. Okay, and you, you know I usually do a, a little uh, card at the end uh, of the video and do like some uh, some music fading in and then fading back out. Um, you, you would do that just like I've already done it here. Right, so you just click and drag the audio onto the, the audio track, the video on the video track, and stuff like that. Um, just with a regular drawing program, I just created a bunch of uh, 10, 20, what, uh, t a 1280 by 720 images, and that that's what gives me this. All right, so when I'm ready to build a video, I click export. And I don't know why, but if you have the video starts out with an image it defaults to 1920 by 1080 I don't know why it does that so every time I have to do 1280 by 720 I don't really mess with the frames per second or the progressive and all that crap I don't really do any of that um, and then when I click on the, the export file 
and uh, this shows up here and then I'll just save the video so that's it in a nutshell shot cut is really nice um, it, it's actually I find it it's a lot even it's even nicer on Linux just because uh, with my memory on the solder because my my uh, what my computer I put it together about close to maybe six or seven years ago so it's a little bit older computer and the audio sometimes we go uh, 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 and it would if I had too many other uh, programs going at the same time but I don't have that problem with Linux so anyhow I'm, I'm a snob I guess that is how I make videos it's real easy if you have questions let me know but because uh, I know Mick and um, uh, Tommy Boy, I was talking to both of them about how to put together videos. And you don't have to spend anything on this. This is completely free. Not only just the Linux, but for Windows as well, it's free. It, it, it's really nice. You can do a lot more stuff with it than just, I don't know. I, I, people have talked about putting together videos on YouTube, but I've never bothered doing that. Never, I've never bothered doing that. Uh, I don't even know how to do that. Um, I like to use, just use uh, Shotcut here. So anyhow, uh, let me know if you have any questions, but that is how I make my videos, okay? Bye.